हेलो गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द इंजन किल स्विच देयर इज बीन अ लॉट ऑफ कन्वर्जेशन रिगार्डिंग द यूसेज ऑफ इंजन किल स्विच अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल से दैट इट इज हार्मफुल फॉर योर बाइक Guys, I would like to tell you that there is no such issue or problem that would be caused due to engine kill switch. The use of engine kill switch is mainly to turn off the engine, cut off the engine, without turning off the key, like it is right now. I have turned it on. Now I can start my bike. If I want to turn it off, I can do it directly without turning off the key. Without turning off the key, right from here, and it goes off. In daily bumper to bumper traffic, it is really not practical to uh, turn off your bike, turn on and off your bike using the key. You can simply turn it off from here, and you can start it from here without. leaving the handle like this now some people say that uh, it drains the battery of your bike i would like to clear this issue there is nothing such it, the engine kill switch does not drain your battery second thing is that it also depends on your bike which kind of bike are you using like uh, i am using a fuel injected bike so the moment i turn on the engine kill switch now the bike starts consuming battery reason being it is a fuel injected bike as long as the switch is turned off there is no issue and as i turn it on you heard that right the fuel injection gets activated the cdi unit the everything also the display and led lights here and there all everything gets activated so this is the moment when it starts using the battery until and unless it is off there is no such consumption the third thing is there are some bikes on which if you turn on this key even if fuel injected they would directly activate the fuel injection pump cdi everything without even involving the engine kill switch doesn't matters if the engine kill switch is on or off it will turn on everything like i have used one of my friends yamaha and the moment i turn the key on like this it turns on the fuel injection as well so in those kind of bikes the engine kill switch seriously plays no role the carbureted bikes also have the engine kill switch that is just to turn off the engine nothing else it it does not has a fuel injection or anything such like that so if in a carbureted bike if you turn off the engine kill switch and turn it on repeatedly it won't affect the battery because the electricals and all mainly the headlights are off when the uh, engine is off so uh, there is no such chance of draining the battery until and unless the pilot lamps and the tail lamps are off halogen or uh, sorry sorry i don't mean halogen are of bulbs miniature bulbs but in this bike they are uh, they are all of led so it won't affect at all i can keep it on without turning on the engine kill switch the whole day now some people ask that why does bikes have engine kill switch even if they can be turned on and off using the key so i would like to tell you guys that it is a kind of uh, safety feature that is included in most of the bikes and in some countries it has been made uh, mandatory to give an engine kill switch so this is the reason uh, let's assume if you met with an accident 
and you can simply turn the bike off from here without even going for searching for key in some bikes there are the key position is also not on the handlebar like for example on an avenger when you will see the key on the right side of the body or right side of the bike so do you think it is practical to reach out there every each and every time when you are turning on and off your bike no this is the reason engine kill switch are given some people say that engine kill switches get uh, wear and tear the wiring gets damaged and or uh, what not i would like to tell you guys that there is no such thing no such damage caused by engine kill switch it has the same function like a key engine kill switch uh, same has the same function like the key and the side stand sensor for example if i turn the bike it is in neutral i turn it on i put it in gear and i open the side stand see it has turned on so these all three things side stand sensor the engine kill switch and the key main key belong to the same circuit and have same function that is to cut off the engine and nothing else none of them is harmful to the bike and as far as uh, considered about the battery drainage you need to make sure that what all electricals are dependent on your battery on your engine kill switch like for my bike when i turn off turn off the engine kill switch everything cuts off Ex except the display and the led pilot lamps and the tail lights and all rest everything is off only when i turn it on it starts the cdi unit the fuel pump and everything so that is the moment when it starts consuming fuel so if i keep it off and i leave it like this it would stay same all the day no battery drainage the batteries in these days in bikes are huge so there is no such issue and it is totally a myth that it consumes the battery you are free to use the engine kill switch without giving it a second thought in the end i would like to conclude that engine kill switch is not at all harmful for your bike you can freely use it without giving it a second thought it is totally a safety feature and nothing else you can you need to avoid all kinds of myth that people are spreading about it like you cannot use one and it will cause battery drainage wiring damage and all what not shit so so use them as it is given there is nothing wrong in it so guys we'll see you later till then it's me signing off